In construction applications, welding cables may be hundreds of feet long and strung several stories high to reach the location where welding is being done. But this common practice causes a voltage drop at the weld joint, which can lead to poor weld quality. Voltage drops can be caused by several factors on the job site. The primary cause is long welding cables strung out over long distances. With longer cables, there is a potential for greater voltage drop and every connection joining sections of weld lead can add to the potential volt drop. So how does the voltage drop affect weld quality on a job site? When the welding power source is a long distance from where the operator is welding, they might just make do with a less than ideal arc voltage, which could put the weld out of spec for the welding code, causing possible costly rework that could lead to delays. Or they must walk back to the power source and adjust their parameters estimating how much their voltage drop is based on total length of welding lead. But for CV processes such as MIG or flux core welding, if the voltage drop is greater than anticipated, the voltage at the arc will be low. This will negatively affect the arc, often resulting in the wire stubbing or issues with the slag system. Constant current processes such as stick and TIG also experience negative effects from excessive volt drop, though they are typically less severe than with CV processes. ArcReach technology on the XMT350 Field Pro system from Miller features cable length compensation technology, which ensures the voltage the operator sets is the voltage they get on the feeder or remote, even hundreds of feet away from the power source. In scenarios where the equipment doesn't have an automatic volt drop calculation, such as Miller's cable length compensation, some common practices can be performed. One, use the shortest welding cables possible for the job and avoid adding unnecessary weld cable connections. Two, match the cable size to the amperage and total length of weld cable required for the application. Weld cable sizes can commonly be found in the equipment's owner's manuals. A larger cable size helps keep resistance to a minimum in higher current applications. Damaged welding cables can also cause voltage drops on the job site. Be sure to replace cables and regularly inspect them for tears or other signs of wear. Because cables are frequently strung over long distances, they can easily be damaged if they are run over by a forklift, scissor lift, or the insulation can tear if it's snagged when pulled over beams. The damage may not be obvious to the operator unless there is a tear in the cable's insulation. The result? A correctly sized weld cable may behave like it's undersized, increasing the voltage drop at the arc. Be aware of how voltage drops may be affecting weld quality on your job site. Avoid long welding cables and regularly inspect cables for damage. You can reduce rework and project delays with these steps.